My name is Lori Costello, I'm from Embry-Riddle. I'm one of the graduate students there, and I'm on the Embry-Riddle team, obviously. And we have here is the STEMI S10. It's our Eco Eagle. We modified this, so now it's a hybrid gas-electric aircraft. Um, we take off with gas, and then when we get to cruising altitude, we transition to an electric motor and use batteries for the duration of the flight. Um, we came here with the intention of hopefully competing, but unfortunately our ballistic recovery system was not entirely ready, so we understood that there was a possibility that we could not actually compete for the prize. Um, fortunately now we are actually flying as well, so there was a kind of a, a concern that maybe we wouldn't, we wouldn't even be allowed to fly, um, but we're actually going to fly now, which is great. Uh, our team consists of there have been 200 students that have worked on the project throughout the two-year period. We have eight students here that have put in a great amount of effort over the, over the, the last two years, um, especially the last few months. So it's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be competing. It's wonderful to be, um, to be able to meet all the other teams and to spend some time with them and to see what they did and their approach to this very complex and very complicated um, set of rules. So the way you're going is unique, and that is you've gone with a hybrid uh, setup. Um, some of the other teams have gone directly to electric. We all know the limitations of batteries at the moment really don't make it a practical aircraft. So your um, your philosophy of going for hybrid is really the way that aircraft will develop over a period of time. They'll go from conventional gasoline uh, to hybrid, and then eventually to electric. So are you noticing big improvements with your hybrid combination that you're running here? Uh, yeah, we're, doing, we're <laughs> yes, um, we're noticing quite a few improvements. Um, the Rotax is great for the, the high power set portion so we don't have to carry all the batteries for that section. Um, so then when we get to cruising it's just batteries and we're not even carrying that much batteries right now but we, we see that we can get quite a, quite a bit of distance and endurance out of them not as much as we would like or as much as we would need but it's better than um, it's better than actually I, I thought we would get so. oh, I'm sorry the STEMI is a great aircraft it's sorry. it's German mm -hmm. and it's been a proven design over a number of years so it's been uh, uh, a good base to uh, to adapt um, it is also a very complicated aircraft has that posed any difficulties for you Yes, um, the complexity of this aircraft is extremely <laughs> intense. Um, the aircraft itself, before we got it, was complex, and then this hybrid gas electric system we had to design and create um, these. Uh, it's a clutch and pulley system between the two so that we could only use the gas engine, we could only use the electric motor while they still drive the same shaft. And then we have a really complex system up in the front for the propeller. Um, we actually used some of the original parts and then made completely new mounts, we had to put a new propeller on, um, the complexity of all this is crazy. We, we've we run into lots of issues and lots of trouble or problems over the thing, but luckily we've been able to sort of work them out and get it flying. And Your team's um, made up of university students, how have they enjoyed this project? They've loved it. Um, you can only learn so much in the classroom, so to be able to actually get out here and actually see an aircraft and design and build and um, analyze everything is wonderful. I can't even tell you how much I've learned or how much the rest of our students have learned. They love to just be able to play with things and actually do real engineering work instead of just sitting in a classroom. And do you think this will inspire them to uh, to go on and base their careers around aviation? I think so, definitely. It's definitely inspired me to continue this route. I love green aviation and I love gliders, so I would love to continue doing something along these lines. And I know that I'm not alone in that. Now, finally, I see some stickers on the side of your aircraft. You've you've got some sponsorship going here. If you'd mind just uh, telling us a little bit about your uh, sponsors so they can get some recognition. Yeah, we've had some great support. Um, all of the money and all of the, the parts we had donated. So the university didn't really give us too much money for the project. Um, Flight Design donated our electric motor. JPI donated a fuel flow indicator. Moonshine Aviation helped us with our nose cone. Right. They completely think, made it for us. Lockwood Ready Aviation has donated yes. both Thank parts you. and you. help with... And we, all, we all know they're uh, close to you and they're considered Mr. Rotax. Yes, they were a great help with the Rotax. Um, Rotax actually donated our gas engine. Um, David Robertson gave us money for the plane. Drive Tech was the motor controller. They donated that to us. Um, MT donated a propeller. And, uh, it's great news that you can yeah. um, you can organise enough enthusiasm to uh, to get all these donations and have a uh, a very competitive entry.
Yeah, I'm really glad because that, that was one of my big concerns when they were donating everything was actually using their donations towards something and then being able to give something mm. back. So it's wonderful that we can actually be here and actually be flying and actually give them recognition. It really is disappointing that you've, you've been disqualified from the event, but the good news is that you're now able to fly um, because that, that'll give everybody um, the ability to, to see just how well your design is. And as I mentioned earlier, I think hybrid will happen well before we go to totally electric aircraft. Yeah. So, um, you know, I take uh, my hat off to the cafe guys uh, for allowing you to um, to participate. Now, I understand the other teams are now getting in their aircraft, so you're only you're going as number four in today's race. So you're only a few minutes from going. Yes. So I appreciate your time this morning for this interview. I know you're busy and you've got to get everything organised. So uh, we'll leave it at that. And thank you and good luck. And we look forward to seeing a uh, a good result. Thank you. Good luck to you guys too. Thank you very much.